rearranging before you cut. So what I'm trying to show you in this video is that um, don't get frustrated. What I did when I was new is I'd go on the screen and I'd lay everything out. You know, I want this to be here and I'm going to center this below it, perfectly centered. And then, okay, here. So then there's this one's going to be here and I will perfectly center this underneath it. So that way when I go with my next screen, all I have to do is put my piece of, I use vinyl, so all I have to do is put my piece of material on my mat and it'll cut. Done. Perfect. Okay, let's go. So I get all excited and when I hit my go button, only to find, as I'm sure you have if you're watching this video, that things don't stay the same. So what Cricut does is it's actually trying to um, save material. So that, what it wants to do is it wants to use the least amount of material possible by putting everything together in the best possible combination, which would be great if I wanted to rearrange things or if I wanted to save vinyl and cram as much stuff as I could into as many places as I could, but I don't. So what I want to do is I um, there's a couple examples I'll show you here. So I could show you that you can actually put things um, in all different corners, which is kind of neat. So say you wanted to cut these in four different colors, you could. So you'd cut this piece of vinyl, it would be six by six. This one would be six by six. You can tell by the lines, right? One, two, three, four, five, and six. This one here would be one, two, three, four, five wide and three tall. And this one would be five wide and two tall. This one, I would place my, I would, I place in the bottom corner, but I put my sheet of vinyl between 9 and 12 and between 0 and 5. That way I know that um, no matter how my mat goes in, I won't have a letter that gets cut off my material. Um, another thing that you can do is you can set it up um, the way you want it to be. So when you take it off your mat, it's already all laid out for you. Um, what you can also do, which is kind of neat, is... Let's use the trees here. Um, see at the top, there's a little circle here. When you mouse over, it turns green. That is for rotating. So I can rotate it like this and put it here. And then I can take these ones and rotate them. And maybe I can tuck the top of the tree in there. And then I'm completely doing this without any pre-thought here, so if it doesn't work, bear with me. Um, like that one. So let's try this one instead. So let's spin this one around. I actually end up spending a lot of time on this screen, moving stuff around. Um, it's kind of nice to be able to do that because if you are trying to save your material, that's a really good way to do it. Um, you're, you know, you use the least amount possible, which is really nice sometimes when you're running low on a certain color or a certain type of material to not have to worry about um, wasted material. I'm, I'm not a very big fan of wasted material, so I like this. I like this tool quite a bit. Uh, and then we'll sneak this one right in there. So there you go. So now it takes up the least amount of space possible, which is actually really nice. Then when you hit your go button, I'm only cutting a 11 by 8 piece of material to put on my mat with hopefully very little scrap left over. And, um, and that's about it. The other thing I want to show you quickly actually before I end this is that say one of your layers is a different color. So now if you go to your sink, you have two different colors here. This will actually go on to two different mats, so um, which is also good. So if you want to cut multiple colors, you can do it this way as well. You can do it on um, there you go. So you can do it on two separate mats if you wanted to cut it on two separate mats as well. I tend to just um, drag one onto the other and then just move them around my mat myself instead of having it want to cut four separate mats. It's more for a time-saving thing than anything else. Um, that one is completely preference. You can tweet your own that one. Um, but yeah, that is the end of my tutorial today.